we're going to um okay yeah this is what this is what I, I came up with instead of displaying this array of custom types as default we're going to define how we want to display the array of custom types um, we can do this right in line in our editor script and we're going to use the array properties that are and methods that are available through the scriptable object and scriptable properties okay so let's go to get into our script and we're going to replace this property and we're going to do the drawing on our own so first off let's uh let's do it above so we can see the difference we get the index at i follow me okay so for each uh, for int, let's do a an int in uh, pieces dot array size. We're gonna display each of them on our own. So we get the property at index. Let's get that in a reasonable place. And all we want to draw for this property is the kind. Right, so we have our kind and let's define that as a property also. So piece kind then that let's just get the whole property, not the index. Now we're gonna draw that property. We don't have any children to display, but we will provide a label. Okay, how what options do we have? Can we provide a string as a label? So no, we cannot provide a string as a label, and the label goes at the second parameter. So our label is going to be a GUI content. So GUI content label equals a new GUI content. Um, here we can enter in some string values. So that's going to be we're going to concatenate kind and a space or we can just leave that in there and i plus one so that'll give us our label So yep, that, that's it. So let's um, check out the differences between them before we, we remove the old drawing property. Now if we look over here after Unity compiles, now we have all our properties being drawn. So all flats all kinds now we should also be able to select and change them so we can clean that up now and do as we like so instead of showing all the unnecessary properties we can define our own property type so element 3 would be 4 and we don't need to see all these extra elements so that's how you set define your own custom array drawer Cool.
So now we don't need to draw that piece. And let's see what the finished product looks like. I see an identifier, none here, which is a little troubling. So there we go. So if I select all flats, there are two hills. We still need some updating to be to be done here. So that should be a flat. That's definitely not a flat. Uh, that's a flat. That works. That's a flat. What else is a mishap? That's a flat. Update. Select the ramp. Don't see a change. And why is that? So we have the piece kind. This is where we draw. And on selection, we update. And we're updating the piece copy, but we're not updating our piece information. So we can take care of that. Um, where can we take care of that? Right here. So we can find the relative property from our piece kind. We're going to need these two pieces. So that changes our grab that out of there. Maybe I put this at the bottom because I see that it's um utilizing a variable as defined above. So we have the index. We grab the exact prop property that we're looking for, and we can set the index to the piece type. It may require casting into an int. And it does require casting into an int. So now we, when we update our drop down, we should also get an update on our, f our pieces. Okay, T compilation, successful, all flats. And here's our single ramp. So now let's change 5 to. I like uh, wall, so that's and that's update all flats ramp. Here's our wall. Here's our ramp. Sweet. All right. So next step.